गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज योर थर्ड प्रॉब्लम इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी नीड टू फाइंड द हाइट ऑफ द फ्रीली फॉलिंग बॉडी आफ्टर हाफ ऑफ द टाइम आफ्टर हाफ ऑफ द टाइम जस्ट यू ऑल गो थ्रू दैट प्रीवियस वर्कशीप इन दैट वर्कशीप ही इज आस्किंग योर बॉडी इज रिलीजर फ्रॉम हाइट h ओके अबव द ग्राउंड व्हिच टेक्स t सेकंड्स टू रीच द ग्राउंड From here to here, it took t time to reach the ground. Now, what he is asking? The position of the body after t by two second is. What is the position of the body after t by two second? First of all, write the formula for height of the body for t seconds. H is equal to half g t square. This we know this. We know this. Now, what is the remaining distance after which you are going to calculate? So, it travel half of the time up to here, up to here. For example, we are taking. What is this distance? Suppose you are taking, you are taking x distance from the ground, x to x distance from the ground. When it is falling for a half of the time, half of the time, it travels a distance of h minus x. When this is h minus x, if you choose after half of the time, suppose the body is at a height of x from the ground, then only the remaining distance is h minus x. The remaining distance is h minus x. Okay, for this h minus x, you are formula is a half g t square once again. Half g t square t is half of the time. T is half of the time. Then half g into t by two whole square. T by two whole square. What will you get here? T by two whole square is equal to t square by four. T square by four. That's what I written here. Half g into t square. T square by two square. By two square, I can write as a four. So what you are getting half g t square into one by four. Half g t square into one by four. What is this half g t square actually? This half g t square is equal to h. Half g t square is equal to h. So what I am adding here is h. H into one by four. That I can write as h by four. Then h minus x is equal to h by four. H minus x is equal to h by four. X is equal to h minus h by 4. X is equal to h minus h by 4. Just to take an LCM here, 4 h minus h, 3 h by 4. That is what the value of x. X is equal to 3 h by 4. I mean, this means, or this will give the information that object travels h by 4 only. H by 4, h by 4, and remain t h by 4 height from the ground. It is at a height of 3 h by 4. Meters from the ground. After half of the time, it is at a height of 3 h by 4 from the ground. This is your problem. Note it down. You are getting sound now. Sorry, from morning or uh, till I am waiting till now, but I am not getting the time. So here work is going on. Your total building is going to be a renovation. Okay. Okay, next problem. A body is reduced from certain height above the ground. Falls through a height h, distance h, in the first t seconds. In the next t, next second, it falls through a distance of. What is happening here? A body is falling from certain height. A body is falling from certain height up to t seconds. It travels. It travels a certain height h. Thereafter, in remaining one second, how much distance it covers? How much distance it? Covers, okay, okay. Now, what is the distance covered in t per second? U plus a into t minus half. In remaining next second, not remaining next in your next second. That means t plus one seconds. In t plus one second, it covers a distance of s t plus one. U plus a into t plus one into half. Here you can do the simplification. Plus one minus half. You will get plus one by two. Plus one minus half is equal to plus one by two. The same equation will be changed like this. So here, when it is falling freely, form. when it is falling freely, its initial velocity is zero, and acceleration y is equal to acceleration due to gravity. Substitute the values in the above equation. U is equal to zero. Zero plus y is equal to g plus t and half remains absent. Just do the multiplication here. G t <coughs> plus g into one by two g by two. Then g t plus g by two. What is g t? G t is equal to V V is equal to u plus a t. Do you remember that formula? From V is equal to u plus a t, u is equal to zero. V is equal to a t. Instead of writing a, we are writing g. That's why that's why V is equal to 
gd so here i can write v is equal to gd but in case of freely falling body in case of freely falling body this is a hint for you in case of freely falling body v square minus u square is equal to 2gh since u is equal to 0 g v is u is equal to 0 this v square is equal to root to 2gh v is equal to root to 2gh that's what i am writing here instead of writing v i am writing here 2gh 2gh it becomes a gt before it is a gt gt is what v what is v root to 2gh root to 2gh plus g by 2 this is your answer so after one second of its a free fall after one second it's a free fall that uh, distance covered is equal to root to 2gh plus g by 2 distance covered is equal to root to 2gh plus g by 2 go through it once <coughs> you are fifth problem you are fifth problem today is a very sound pollution but there is no time to do please go through this a fifth problem after falling through a first h meters a freely falling body acquires a velocity v after falling through a next h meters velocity acquired by it would be so initially its velocity is zero because it is a falling freely its velocity is zero after t time after t time or it travels up to h distance then what is the velocity acquired what is the velocity acquired v is equal to root 2gh how by this formula only in previous case also we used the same formula <coughs> and here also so when it reaches to a h height distance from top to the bottom v is equal to root 2gh h is equal to distance covered in the same way when it travels double the distance double the distance i mean h h plus h is equal to h so do one thing in the same formula in the same formula or similarly or similarly when you are using this one and this one v square minus u square is equal to 2as so v1 square v1 square minus 0 square is equal to 2g into height is h plus h 2h h plus h 2h so v1 square is equal to final velocity here that is equal to root over 2gh into 2 into 2 that you can write like this so v1 square v1 is equal to root 2gh into 2 into 2 that you can write like this uh, root 2 into root 2gh what is root 2gh actually v what root gh so that's why i'm writing here root 2 into v that's why i'm writing here root 2 into v so children go through it today we have lots of sound pollution that can be not it down in here